Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, we're here. You see who we're talking about. She by Sheree. Sheree Whitfield. Yes, Bob Whitfield's uh, ex-wife, okay? Now, she's sporting up or sporting out her hoodie that has the design or the logo of She by Sheree. But we ain't got no fashions in the stores. I mean, we ain't got them at Neiman Marcus. We ain't got them at Dillard's. We ain't got them at Macy's. Uh, can't think of any other shop. Uh, shit, it could be Walmart. We still ain't got anything. And Sheree, why are you taking your ass over there, fooling with some more what fabrics, materials, and other, uh, things of that nature? Girl, what are you doing? You need to stop faking the funk. But damn, you showed dress good on that particular day. You was wearing that Gucci suit, girl. And I was like, okay, that seems like that's for the winter time, though. But it had the breast styles out, so I guess you could have done it like that. Ooh, girl, but you were bossing. You was a boss in that suit. I said, ooh, shit, Sheree, you could have been a designer. But no, that's just wishing. That's just me wishing uh, you had something to show us. <laughs> Because it sure wasn't no she by Sheree fashions or any of that. So I'm like, girl, we don't want to, uh-uh. We ain't going to have the storyline. We ain't going to have you going out picking out patterns and this, that, and the third. Because last time you were trying to bring out she by Sheree and had no models and no fashion to present. Um, And Dwight got you good when he said, oh, how dreadful. Oh, a fashion show without fashions. Ugh. Okay. But, yeah, it around that time when it was taping, I can't remember what season it was, you took a trip to New York, I believe, to meet with some designers who actually had their materials to work with, meaning, you know, the clothing, of, um, the materials to make whatever you were trying to make for your fashion show. We went and we saw all that, okay? You know you didn't have the money then. I don't even know why you wasted the trip. Maybe Bravo paid for it for you just to get that footage. And that was good. That was good. It was cute, okay? But, no, nah, we can't be doing the same damn thing again. You going meeting with people who own fabrics. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, sir. No, Lord. We need finished apparel. We don't care what the material is made out of. We don't care to hear any of that or see any of that. Only thing we want to see is the fashion on a mannequin or a model near you. Honey boom. Okay. That's, I'm, I'm showing my age when I say honey boom. I ain't taking that in a long time. But I graduated, graduated in uh, 86. So y'all know. 54 years old. Going strong. Okay. But yeah. Sitting up there trying to ask the lady for some samples of the fabric. i like, sure if you don't sit your ass down somewhere. get First of all, get out of this stove. Go home, get in some comfortable clothes, and think about this situation. You don't have at least five, six, seven good years that you were on the show and off the show back and forth here and there to have had an idea of what you were going to do with this line that we never saw. Okay? And we're still talking about it. I mean, we're ready to buy a baseball hat, a bra, a sweatshirt, a jogger set, uh, something to that nature. We're ready to put some money in your pocket, baby. But you don't hear us knocking. You don't hear us knocking and you got the door padlocked, okay? Like, no, nobody can come in because the rent hadn't been paid or something to that degree. So, Sheree, you need to stop all this foolishness, okay? Get with the program because Candy, she like telling T, but not telling T the correct way. You know what I'm saying? She just be trying to show up somebody here and there sometime. Because she sat up there and said, before we even get to the point of even seeing your fashion show come alive on this season. She said that it almost didn't happen. I'm like, wait a minute. Hold up. What you mean it almost didn't happen? What was what? 
And um, from what Candy was trying to express, was that everything was just a rush, rush, rush thing. She didn't have some of the clothes that she wanted to show because did you even pay the designer? That's what we needed to see, the designer. And the designer would let you know what particular fabrics to use uh, towards whatever you were trying to make. You know what I'm saying? Satin would be more so, or, or silk would be more so in a, a blousy type. Uh, apparel if that's what we're going for and um it, it, hey the only thing i'm saying is the designer they know what type of material to use they just need the money uh to do what they need to do and then they can present you with some clothing okay even if you just had the clothing not for sale that was showing through the fashion show but you would get orders for them because that's usually how they go you just have that one mocked up type suit or a jogger set or whatever and then once you get orders in you can start filling them because you just you would just really take the replica and you know from the original and, and get things to roll it but Sheree ugh, why do we have to keep coming back and forth and are you being illuminated too with all that hair oh, the platinum blonde just does not look good on brown skin hair like a mocha chocolate. Mm-mm. We need a little bit more color in that. All right. Because that's a pretty shade on you there, Sheree. But this platinum blonde that's like looking white on your head. Like you storm in the matrix or whatever. Nah, we don't need that look, babe. We don't need that look. But Sheree, you should know better. You know better. So you need to do better. You need to do better, Sheree. And I tell you, if you don't have that lunch... If you don't have no clothes after the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14 has ended, you can just call the quiz. Just call the quiz. It's, it wasn't for you to do. It was just something you wanted to talk about but never brought to fruition. We don't want to hear it because, if anything, you should have got investors. Okay? You should have asked Candy. You could ask Kenya. Who else got some money right now? Sonya. We ain't going to mess with Drew. We don't mess with Drew because we don't think she got it all. Uh, hell, you could ask Andy Cohen for a loan. To bring all these fashions with probably five or six sizes to the public. You know, and then you pay them back once you start making your money. But maybe you're too prideful. Maybe you're too prideful and you don't want to go that way. But honey, we all, all out on the streets trying to figure out how you got that house paid for. How you got those remarkable settings in your house. We know they cost some pretty penny. Because again, Candy is letting us know. Okay, you could have let us know. You could have told us, which you did when you were first billing on it. Or, or when you actually had got into the house. But a lot of things weren't finished to your uh, specification, I should say. But Candy dropped down on you once again. <laughs> and was asking the question. How they asked Marlo the question. How are you affording all of this? Because we have been full-time peach holders on the show and you have been a friend of the show for several different comebacks and i'm still up here trying to make mine do what it do and you and marlo because marlo was just a friend of the show y'all got it going on y'all got well we don't well we could just say marlo's a labor hole she has clothes. And some of the clothes that she got is probably really, really expensive. They look ugly as hell. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Okay. I'm just saying. But, okay. We know Marlo has a closet full of expensive things. Okay. Uh, which why I don't know why she show them on TV. That's probably what she got her mess up with somebody trying to break in. But then again, somebody said that was a, pl a publicity stunt. I hope it would. You know, I hope she don't go around saying dangerous things that have happened to her. In actuality, they haven't. So, that's piss poor on her part. But we don't go too much into her because we don't really want to talk about her. We're still mad at how she has done things on this show. Okay, but Sheree, we, we, we're pleading with you, honey. To, uh, get those fashions out here because I promise you, I ain't going to say, I ain't going to talk your name no more. I'm not going to talk your, speak of your name anymore. Not when it comes to fashion. Okay, Sheree just going to be a housewife with nothing else better to do but to floss, showcase. But uh -uh. she has no designer-ness in her because she hadn't brought it out. And we already know she can dress, okay? She dressed better than Marlo. 
to me when she's stepping out on the town when she's going somewhere you know that presents itself to be like a, a night well after what do you call it a cocktail party or something to that degree we know she can get down uh marlo she just i don't know what marlo be dressing like sometime oh i don't know what she be dressing like sometime but the shit she be wearing is expensive as hell okay but sure that's all we want to talk to you about we just want to come by you know slide by the house have my family come in and wait on in this situation you're a beautiful lady you're in your 50s and you're looking like you're 30 okay baby so we ain't gonna take that from you we're gonna give that to you but what we like for you to give us is them damn fashions okay them she by charade joggers athletic wear oh uh, who cares at this point give me a hat give me some sunglasses give me or some short sets okay give me something you know i can like put on t-shirt socks Tennis shoes, anything, baby, anything that says she by charade. Okay, that's all we need. That's all we need, and we can put the shit to bed. We can put it to rest. But right now, you got us unrested. Okay, you got us all up and in arms because we wants to see stuff. We send you modeling and shit. You had a whole athletic wear, uh, what do you call it? Accessories. You had the water bottle. You had the mat. Hey, you probably had the weights, but you left them at home. But Kenya was trying to take uh, your uh, water bottle, your mat. You're like, no, 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 no. This, this is the only one I have. Like, why is that the only one you have, Sheree? Again, oh, you're telling on yourself in a bad, bad way. Then you come out here uh, sporting out a little jogging top, hoodie. And she about Sheree. Well, we can get this shit from Sheree. Because the, the show is already taped and we're watching the, the, uh, the aftermath. But we still ain't seen no she about Sheree nowhere. Nowhere, Sheree. Nowhere. Okay, got some pencils or some pens to say she about to write something, baby, something. But that's all I got for this particular video, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.